Welcome everyone and thank you for joining another episode. Today I'm here with Echo Bao, who is the Sustainability Manager of uh, DSM. Uh, today we're going to be talking about her career in sustainability, how she got into it, kind of dragged into it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what her goals are and how she engages internally and externally to get her work done on a daily basis. Could you do me a quick favor and introduce yourself and just give us like a 30 seconds about yourself and what you do. Okay. Well. Um my name's Echo. Um, I work for DSM. Mm -hmm. I'm mainly in charge of sustainability issues, yeah, affairs in China. So my role is kind of coordinate all the work uh, in areas of supply chain, in the uh, business, okay. and in the functions that coordinate, and to do the interface between the internal and external. And how many staff do you have? Like, um, is it does DSM have a global sustainability group staff and then you oversee all the country level or how does the organization work? Yeah, so there's a, a team about five to six person, mm -hmm. uh, so many in corporate. Okay. So that will set, set the requirements, corporate requirements. <laughs> okay. And the, the head of the uh, sustainability department will set the strategy, coordinate mm -hmm. with the executive board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a corporate part. Uh, and for the um, in the regional level, so we, we only have me mm -hmm. uh, based in, in regional okay. and others okay. uh, in other uh, countries, but they not full time, they a part time. Yeah. And what's what's your job uh, on a day to day basis as a sustainability mm -hmm. um, person in the company? Like, mm -hmm. what do you do on a daily basis? Um, for daily basis, I think I mainly. Um, work on the project base um, to find out what is the industry driver for our business and then we try to um, interpret it, those sometimes uh, high level drivers uh, from policy, from regulation, from industry association, even from our customers um, and then try to explain, interpret it internally um, to convince and to engage with our <laughs> business leaders and more specifically with those uh, business development managers. So how we can develop or how we can exploit those opportunities. Um, and kind of going back to China, like the government's making a lot of changes, a lot of new regulations, customers are mm. constantly changing. Mm. How important is it for you as a sales manager to understand those trends? Very important, I would mm. say. Um, each quarter we will pull our efforts um, to gather insights from different angles, especially from the government, uh, centrally, uh, for us is centrally. Policy, new regulations, uh, to make some interpretations, uh, and then we'll translate into opportunities and the risks. Actually, kind of on the business model, if you look at foreign companies versus domestic companies, mm. who does sustainability better right now? and? Do they have different definitions of sustainability? I don't think local companies they have a very clear definition of sustainability. Mm -hmm. um, they will only focus on one issue or, not, or two. Um, but I see local companies they have um, they change very far, adapt very fast to, to the situation, to the mm -hmm. environment. Um, I would not say sustainability itself, but it's more for business model itself. It could be uh, changing very fast mm -hmm. to adapt it to the customer's needs. Sure. Yeah. And then for multinationals, we have a lot of procedures to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That way, we could be reactive or slower. When you walk into a business manager's office and you mm -hmm. talk to them about sustainability, mm -hmm. what's their first response? All right. Maybe what was your, what was the first response you had four and a half years ago, and then what? What's the response now? Like, how have mm. you learned yeah, yourself? Good question. Right? Yeah. Um, four years ago, when we first convened, when I get it on this job, my boss and I, um, because my boss is kind of uh, responsible for the um, uh, for, for the, the, the total China sustainability issues, but I'm more on the oper operational level. Yeah. Um, when we convened the sustainability committee with our business leaders, I remember one response from one business leader is. So definitely sustainability is off my priority list. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And now, four years later, mm -hmm. 
they will come up to us and say, whether well, you could help us. Yeah. So what's changed? Like, why, what, why do they go, oh, it doesn't matter, or from it doesn't matter, to it's a priority in mm. four years? I mean, four years isn't much time. Mm -hmm. So what, what changed in that time frame that you think? I would say the pressure from the customers, okay. uh, from the government. Yeah, for business leaders, they are very practical, and I have to say practical, they are more focused on the short-term business, because you cannot stand. They are very um, pressured by the annual year budget, mm -hmm. and every month they will need to meet the budget. It's quite understandable. Mm -hmm. But from the business, uh, from the corporate level, um, I don't think they are so new to sustainability because DSM is always advocate on sustainability and then we made very detailed key performance I'd index for the for the every business. Mm. But at the region level and the business level they just felt less driven mm. to do things in sustainability. Mm. They were mainly driven by business. <laughs> right? Great. But now customers are talk more and more on sustainability. Customers even pull or or push by the government, like the environmental things, like the um, emissions, water use, the waste of water. So they will feel that atmosphere more and more from the customer side. Okay. And for some key customers, very, very big top brand, they are also feel pressure from the public drive. Uh, so in your mind, who's the most powerful force then? Is it government, customers, public mm. um, or is it a, a leader? Uh, mm. Who in your experience has been the most powerful force to drive these topics forward? I think all the forces are very important. It depends mm. on the industry. Okay. Yeah. yeah, For some industry like food, mm -hmm. consumer definitely is the power. Mm. Um, for some industries like resource industries, government pressure, government enforcement mm. uh, is the, um, well, it's the drive for them. Okay. Yeah. What is it like being a sustainability manager in China? I mean, is this a unique place that in itself, because of its own challenges with the environment, with food safety, does that make your job easier um, being in a country like this where you have all the challenges already here? Are people more interested in learning about it uh, from your company side or maybe, you know, just in your own, in your own network? For China, it's more easier to pick up the topic with the business leaders to say, well, that's definitely what we should do to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like um, I think the two weeks ago, the COP22, mm -hmm. and before the meeting, like my colleague in the Netherlands, she went. She she she's quite worried because that the week before they have the U U.S. presidential election, that Trump get on will get on board, and then she's totally upset <laughs> because she she was afraid the U.S. won't. Do it play their role there, and mm -hmm. how about the other, the rest of the world, mm -hmm. with the COP22. But she came back and bring us very good news that China, uh, from China, well, without China, we definitely will do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the world, like the European countries, they press mm -hmm. yeah, more on Trump's uh, next uh, sure, sure. action. Yeah. And how do you kind of move your own agenda forward, like as a, as a professional in this space? Do you, is it better that you try and win the heartstrings of the CEO and get more money? Or is it better that you work with the business leaders directly and figure out like, what are they trying to sell and how can you help them sell using sustainable messaging? Like, what's the most effective for you as an as a individual in the organization? Um, well, individual. I think from the region level, uh, we work with the business. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like a mandatory work because uh, we measure on the um, business group level, but not for regional business. Mm -hmm. So for them, more create a bit, uh, capture the value, or even create value for them. Yeah, so we look like the business partner for them, okay. sustainability partner for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And does that mean that you go to sales meetings with them, or you help them write proposals, or you just send them information and the infographics and they put that into their own proposals? Uh, we see our role is very unique uh, because we cover all the business in China. Mm -hmm. And then we see cross business, there are definitely more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Maybe that cover any responsibility from them. Mm -hmm. So we try to pull on the, the, the various um, you know, the, the voices from outside and then to interpret the, the, those information. Yeah. 
and what are the what's the challenges that you meet in trying to do that then mm. like it sounds like it's that's a hard process sometimes um, mm. what are some of the challenges that you've met and sometimes you find opportunities mm -hmm. and the, the people will say okay that's good and looks the potential looks profitable uh, but maybe it's not our focus area mm. and we already have our our own and then no one would like to take the ownership for that so that would be very tricky it would be challenging okay. the other thing is uh, how to translate those opportunities into money mm. into impact and what are some of the skills that you think that you you know if you're talking to someone who is you know 28 to 32 years old just starting their career in sustainability what are some skills that you think are valuable for those individuals to know when they're coming into this experience okay first thing is uh, ask yourself what's your interest um, yeah, maybe you're new to sustainability, uh, but I definitely you have your interest area. I would like to say combine your interest mm. into the job itself. And then for me, um, I would like to have a big picture of what sustainability is. And because I have the research back background, uh, back to the, my, my master program, I used it to do a lot of research, I read a lot of inter literature, mm -hmm. so I would like to dig more into what the research already. I have so many things you can you can read on. Mm. Yeah. And find on some areas undeveloped mm. undeveloped. You can work more and uh, yeah, create more. Um, the third thing is uh, to find your mentor. Yeah, she was uh, she's in the property uh, uh, IP uh, uh, department. Yeah, she knows the technology, mm -hmm. and she knows the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes she helps me to draw the organizational setup. Okay. Who should be my, well, the contact. Mm -hmm. We need to connect to anyone mm -hmm. from that business. Yeah, that's really helpful. Okay. Yeah.